does the devastating assessment of what you uh, what you see does that lead you to lose confidence in our ability to to respond adequately to future pandemics i mean i don't think we are in a in a much better place to deal with a new pandemic i think we're marginally better i think there's there's a sense in the uk that um I mean, first of all, we're quite pro-vaccination. That's good. Uh, we clearly did have a positive reputation. So other countries around the world clearly did see us as doing a good job. Um, and we do have some greater vaccine uh, manufacturing capability through the work that we did in terms of scaling up some of the existing um, suppliers, so the contract development manufacturing organisations. Um, and as I said, I think the concept of the Moderna contract is great. And we've invested in skills to support biomanufacturing uh, um, expertise. So all of that, I think, is really positive. But uh, without the leadership, without uh, having ongoing relationships to, to looking at vaccine innovation, our vaccines currently are not good enough. We need to improve the, the quality of the vaccines, the durability, the ability to stop transmission, um, the way in which we give vaccines lots of things that need to be improved and that's not going to happen in a vaccine and that in a, in a vacuum and that's where we need to bring together the capabilities that we've got working in partnership as we did effectively in 2020 to actually make sure we stay ahead of the game and not constantly looking in the rearview mirror